welcome back to the In Game Podcast. I'm Lynch Hunt. What's up? I'm Rob Brown. <laughs> Yo, today we got the homie Jerome Myers back in the building, man. We can call this part two, but I think, you know, now that we know a little bit about your story, man, we probably just going to vibe it up, you know me I mean, talk it out just the way we do normal times. But I do want to go back into one element of your story, but we won't get into that now. You know what I mean? I want to go back into, you know what I mean, that... um that bottom part, but we'll get back into that later. But what's up, Rob? What you got going on, man? man so I just want to thank the people for spending time and paying attention to the pod. We appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate you sharing uh, the pod, liking the pod, subscribing to the channel, pushing the bell, and simply paying attention. That didn't cost you anything. Um, so, you know, from me to you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much. So, I want to get that out of the way. Well, that means a lot to him because he's one of those reverse psychology type people. Well, I'm going to tell you what it means to me. You motherfuckers don't be pushing the button. Y'all don't be liking shit. You don't be subscribing. And guess what? We need y'all to do it. So good cop, bad cop. Y'all just got it both ways and we gave it to you. What you think, Jerome? Hey, man, I, I commented on the last video. I liked it. I'm subscribing. I'm getting a notification when the episode drops so I can get some of this wisdom. In. So, hey, so I just need Rod to turn this way and give him that same spill. Yo, we appreciate you for like and subscribe. It didn't cost you nothing. You do it every week. We appreciate your comments and all that shit. Jerome, I appreciate you, man. It didn't cost you nothing to actually push that, play that, watch that, and give some feedback, man. We appreciate that. That's a bar. That's a bar. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Here we go. No, wake up, bro. Wake up. Wake up. I'm, 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 I'm awake, man. I'm here you let me take my, my energy drink to the head. Um, have y'all read the book, Give and Take? No. No. Nah, uh, so, anybody in your family ever say, particularly like the matriarchs or patriarchs ever tell you, you know they're givers and takers in this world. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And which is very, very true. And this book is about the success of givers versus takers, mm. and which path can get you to where you want to be? Giving. Uh, and which path can get you to the top? Giving, mm. every time. It's not. What? It's not. Come on. No. <laughs> if you can sleep at night and be a taker, get on that taker bus. No. I'm about to get on the taker bus. No. <laughs> the technicians, like if you look at an organization, the people that rise to the top relative to the employees, not C-suite employees, they, the givers rise to the top. But the entrepreneurs, the owners, the C-suite, they're takers. They're takers. You're dropping which a bomb means, on me. Huh? You're dropping a bomb on me. Which I means, gotta sit with this. Right, which means that, um, the take, it doesn't mean that the takers don't give. But the takers give strategically. Uh -huh. It's about ultimately getting the take. Uh -huh. The givers are altruistic. Uh -huh. And the takers are strategic in their giving. I'm getting on that taker bus because I've been on that giver bus for decades. Well, we've talked a lot of times about how generous you are, so I could understand. I'm that. about to be a taker, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. I struggle with that Why? concept. And guess what? The takers they are cool with being a taker, and they sleep at night, and they fine. They they good. Why do I struggle with it? I struggle yeah, with struggle? it because I think we're here to be of a service. Yeah, I think that's why we were placed on the planet, and so. If you're of service, are you taking or are you giving? Man, Rod just talking, man, because he read this book. That nigga is hey, on server know, time uh, all the time. What's wrong with him reading? What's wrong with you picking up a book? I you said that, no, no, but you said that like he been reading. Nah. Well, <laughs> for, so first of all, you older than me? I guarantee yeah. you I got more titles on my, under my belt than you. I, uh, you might. I do. I know I do. At 10 years. Absolutely. At 10 years, you do years to focus. I read. I swear to God. I know I know. because I did 10 years in prison, I got more titles than a lot of motherfucking scholars. How did, how did this go to 
the book. Yeah, you, Cause you said, what's wrong reintroduction of the idea. But how did this go to the better, who got the better jump shot? Well, I didn't, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he just, no, no you said, I you think said, he's well, co-signing it. I think he's he saying He just went that. straight to my jump shot's better than yours. Like, what, nah, what does that have to do with the- Nah, the, I spoke to the fact that you said, like, reading. why he can't just read a book. Yeah. No, no, you said it like, you just, he read a book, so now he, he just talking. No, no, no. no. Sharing an idea. Not, what I'm saying is, you're sharing an idea from the standpoint that you support it. And what I'm, I'm not, saying is you're just talking. No, I'm just saying, no, I'm about to, no. I'm you said about, you're no, about I'm, to get I'm, on I'm a ticket. about to be a ticket. That means this concept, yeah, I, I don't be believe, taker. what I'm saying I is I don't believe, believe that. I don't I'm believe about to be a I don't believe that. Don't and believe. what I'm saying is there are some people over here that mm -hmm. actually take what you're saying as law. So 100%. if you about to go that way, I'm about to go that way. You about, all right, cool. I understand. About to go that I way. understand what you're saying. Now, did you hear I what I said about takers and giving? Uh, yes, what I did. did. I say? What did Being I say? a strategic you said giver. Strategic givers. I, I totally get that. I yes. totally understand that. But you wouldn't be where you're at right now if you didn't do the things. But I the might way you be somewhere it. else if I was a taker. There's no uh, statistics that support that. No, dude, dude, spit, yeah. This Fuck psychologist. that dude, Rob. <laughs> no, he used statistics. <laughs> that statistics My point is he ain't used the statistics. Bro, but we you talked about said this there aren't any statistics. I'm saying, dude, got statistics. I'm telling you. That's that what they do. The Gladwell Your life they just use is statistics. the best statistic that you will ever use and have and get is research in fucking. Our Life. lives are about decisions. I guarantee you that motherfucker that wrote and the we book went, ain't in a better spot than you. Listen, our lives are He didn't even take his own decisions. advice. I bet you he don't believe it. We he don't, don't use he, it. He, he, he uses statistics. You talking about betting. Let's take a, let's take a look stat. at his life for real, for real, and see what's up. Bro, most of these motherfuckers that's writing these or books, let's that's take calling a look them. At all the takers. Yo, lives. real quick, we created this show yeah. because of the people who actually call themselves experts and right. have this shit out there don't live the life. We right. speak from our life, which gives us experience, but the, the so, wisdom is actually, is, look, it is extracted from here's the, the reflection. Here's the irony. Here's the bar. Here's the irony. The irony is, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I just did. You're sitting there feeling like being in the position of a taker is negative. I'm telling so you. So therefore, right, now it was like, I, how dare you? Real quick. Because we started this show based on big, X, and now you're going to be Y? Big homie. You're suggesting. Uh, well, no, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. I'm telling you where the tension. Where I'm correcting you. You're going to okay. let me correct you, or you're just going to sit there and tell right, me right, I got to right. correct you without Why talking. You acting up and I want you house, to tell man. me how I'm going to correct you right, without talking. All right, correct me. So <laughs> one, I have core values. I've done this exercise multiple times in my life. Right. Sometimes they change and shit like that. Right. When things don't align with my core values, right. there's tension. Absolutely. So now, taking does not align with my service core value. How did you, so can I ask a question? Point, can I ask a question? Quick question? Quick question. Ahead, bro. How'd you come up with your core values? Bro, I go through a series of exercises. I'm not giving them to all these people because I actually charge like this. Okay. All right, I charge for- Give me the 30,000 foot view. Don't give me the detail. Give me the 30,000 foot view. Bro, you just sit down and you think about all the things that are important to you. Gotcha. All right, cool. So, and you, Once you, you, get, you get I'm information. I'm not going farther than that. That's I have fine, that's fine, that's fine. Here's you get information that you agree one with is, one and you form integrity. a belief and then- my, here's, my, here's my first one, integrity. Okay. Okay, and, that and, means I do what I actually say I'm going to do. Right. So now I'm telling you now and I'm getting a little bit more upset because my word now is being questioned. So oh, what I'm saying, I'm no, listen, when word. my word is being questioned, this is uh, then this is integrity. So it's an inner struggle now with me because my word is being questioned. Your word's and not I, being questioned. By who? Jesus Christ. By the DA. <laughs> <laughs> By the motherfucking uh, district attorney sitting across from me trying to prosecute oh, me. I'm not trying to prosecute Jesus you, bro. Christ. I'm just simply saying. So, so again, here again. Yeah. The irony is what you're suggesting yeah. is that takers don't have that core value. Of integrity. Of integrity. We all don't have the same core values. Not nah, like a lot of people go through their list and nobody. Well, let me like, let me ask you. Can I ask it in a different way? Do you believe takers have integrity? No. Ex there lies the problem. That's why this is going to be Chinese versus Japanese conversation. Nah, it's, because listen. takers do have integrity. Okay, cool. All right, I got you. So now, so we're stuck with the fact again. You're. I think we're back to the fact that you believe takers. You believe that's a negative connotation. And that you can never 
consider yourself a taker because it just don't sound good. Nah, you could and, be a, first of all, you could be a receiver is going to be better than a taker. So there's going to be, the, the, there's intention behind taking and then there's intention behind receiving. I mean, you can shake your head all you want, right? You can shake your head all you want. My intention what? to take could be to overthrow Russia. That could be my intention to take. So now, is it a bad intention? I need to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> is it a bad intention? Listen, what you're saying is you're, not, you're bringing in apples and oranges now I'm and trying not. to bring the I'm orange to the apple side. Not. It don't work like that, right? I'm not. You got to make not. an analogy that's actually parallel. I'm not. I'm it, it, replace Russia I mean, with anything. I want to. I want to. I want to get if, rid of cancer. If, if we, I'm gonna you, go over here and take all, all right, from over on. here. here. Here's here's the thing. If we have a symbiotic relationship, yeah. if we actually have something that's reciprocal, yes. I give to you, you give it back to right. me. Our shit is equal. Then yeah. that's what meaningful relationships are all about. Yeah. But if I'm approaching you like, yo, I'm gonna get everything I can get from this nigga, then mm-hmm. I'm taking a seat. Mm-hmm. Then that we're not on good terms anyway. Okay. So again, here again, you're suggesting that if I take something from you. That I'm a bad person. No, uh, you're missing the point. You're that totally we don't missing, have a symbiotic you relationship. You just threw out everything out of my. We don't have a symbiotic relationship. If I'm right? if I'm taking from right, you, right? If I take more from you, then you give back to me, or so you person? added you added the you added the, the well, level. You added the more or less. So if if I jump because we're talking about this. taking and right. takers don't give, and they give strategically. So net, I'm about to be a it would be net, right? If you're a taker, then you receive more than you give. Net, no. What does taker mean? Let's get an operational definition on this. And we can make it real simple. Uh Intention. I intend to take. I intend to take versus I intend to give. Okay. Right. So I'm I'm leading with taking, right? So back in the day when um, desegregation happened, right? Mm -hmm. What was supposed to happen was I take my hot dog cart. I go across the tracks. I get their money and I bring it back. Mm. What happened was I took my hot dog cart across the tracks and said, Ooh, it's nice over here. Mmm. You move it out I the hood. I never took it back. You moving out the hood. I never took it back. We're moving out the hood. Yeah. I gotta give uh-uh, I'm not going back because it's real nice over here. All I'm suggesting is that I'm gonna go over here with my hot dog cart. Get all this paper and bring it back. That's it. Now, 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 do I not have integrity now? Am I, am I, am I a bad person now? Do, do I not have a symbiotic relationship with my community well, here's now? What, here's what I think. Do, uh, here's what I think what? from statistics. You what not, statistics? Stop it. <laughs> the, the Book of Lynch? Absolutely, nigga. What okay, the fuck right, I'm going to pull from this white go motherfucker for? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. You fucking Chat Europeans, GDL. man. <laughs> I, love I got it. my own I love shit. It. I got lynchisms. <laughs> I got a lynch fucking Bible. I got lynch 316, nigga. Facts, what the fuck are you facts. talking about? I got some shit. I, I'm statistics. a member of the church, though. Yeah. I'm a member of the church. The statistics. the statistics says your ass ain't coming back, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? You about to go on that side. The nigga's in Colorado now. When I, whenever I say this shit, y'all be on the other side. Now you saying it and you act like he's about to remember the HBCU. It's not going to happen. You, I ain't talking about Deion. I'm talking about statistics that you believe from that book that are supporting what you're saying you're going to do right now. You're already on this side with the things you've done, bro. With the things you've done, you never left this side. You get what you get. You come back to this side. You make his shit pop. Now, because you read this book, you about to say, all right, well, I'm going to just leave this side alone for a little while and I'll be back. No, I'm not. I'm not. Right, don't put well, words tell, in my mouth. Just tell, tell don't put words that. in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. No, no. You just said don't you going to take your hot dog Don't do cart. that. Don't do that, Pastor. Then what you said? You said, said, you said you I'm going to go dog on cart. the other side. What's on the other side of the tracks? Segregation and desegregation. What's on, but what's on that side of the tracks? I'm over here mo, with mo, us. More money. That look like what? More mo money. That look like what? That you, See, here's the problem that I have. Like, for example, with the with the the circulation of the dollar in the black community. Oh, it's, I it's take gone. a dollar, I give it to you. No, you gone. take the dollar, you give it to L. L takes the dollar, give it back to me. I take the dollar, I give it to you. It don't we circulate in that dollar. What Where? we need to do is we need. To, I'm, I'm just saying. It's it's, it's talk, But if we did that, no, he's giving an example. Oh, okay, I'm just okay, saying okay, if we okay, did okay, that, okay. if we circulated the dollar in this community, it don't grow. Okay, we just bounce it back and forth. Okay, I'm suggesting we're gonna go over here. Get some. Get it all. Bring yeah. it back. 
take it you robin and hood. bring it back he robin hood yeah that's all that's it i, I totally but get to it. get to that so, point the 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 point i wanted to make was i was vilified i was bad i don't have integrity because nah, i said i'm that taker now nah, here's here's the thing rob let me tell you something all right. first of all they're gonna put a clip up Mm -hmm. The clip is only going to be the part that entices a motherfucker to hear that point, the first point. Mm -hmm. Now, some people may never watch our 15 minute interaction going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be the one that vilifies you. I'm the one that actually brought awareness to what we were talking about. So that if they ever go this far, they actually hear that part of what you said. Mm -hmm. But if you sit there and just say that little five second part and 10 second part, and that motherfucker cut it off, that motherfucker might go do some shit that they homie or they big homie said that they was about to do. Now, since you, they didn't you, stay you for the full gonna, meeting. You don't bro, trust they're going to they gonna read the rest of the, rest of the verse. Nah, none of them motherfuckers the first ain't part of the verse. No, no, they're they're going to take the part that was scary. None of them. They're just going to read the first part the of the same, verse. That's why they don't ever push the button. That's why they don't ever push the bell. That's why they don't ever leave a comment. Yeah, you ain't produced that motherfucker. Um, <laughs> you ain't hit that goddamn mic uh, on the first 20 minutes of the other one. God damn it. You want to produce that damn one that get us the shock value and then get the whole world hating on us and shit. Oh, God. No, listen. Here's what I'm trying to say, man. Oh, At the end of the day, dog, you literally um, are, are not going to do nothing that's not aligned with who you are. We do what we are. We don't do shit and then become something else. Like so you I literally. Who I am. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you, you, you actually something different. You change who yes. you are by doing. Right, but I'm just saying, if I change who I am, then I will. You had to change who you are to get down to where you at right now, weight wise, right? Like, yeah, that was a mental shift, and like I think everybody saw that transformation, like at different points, but in the interactions, you saw the seriousness of it, and then you. You saw the habits, right? You get the notifications when the 3 a.m. bike rides happen. You you get the notifications when it's 2,000 calories. You right. you see the food. Like, it's, it's just a different experience. That shit is pushing people, man. That shit is fucking, like, contagious, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? When people see them, like, I don't know how many people is actually connected to your joint, but... Man, that shit is going off every morning at like 345 and yeah. shit like that. And I know you got to come in still. Right. Like, I literally know you got to come do some painful shit That's that right. I'm about he to put you through. He on his way. Yeah. Well, at least he's I know you up. up. He's up. He's at least up. I know you up. Yeah. And like, this nigga's running eight miles and shit like that. Like, I, yeah. I don't, I, like, I don't know, but I just know that with, with our actions, people are bound to follow them or, uh, look at them or dissect them and shit like that and then figure out if that shit is working for you, then they're, they're bound to try it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just think we got a, a social responsibility to kind of, you know, um, that's kind of why I'd be mad at the other guys. I think there's, there's no social responsibility in the dynamics of the, of the, of the community and the group. So right. this, like, has been core for me for the past few months because I've been thinking about leadership and being a man. And a lot of people feel like they're men if they just can take care of themselves or that they can just take care of their home. And I just struggle with that. I think the responsibility is bigger. Yeah, way bigger. So how big, uh, like, like expound on that. What bigger so, means or what men? Outside of their home, like a man out taking care of what, who. And so I think everybody has different capacity, right? Yeah, yeah. But like you guys are touching the world, right? You've got a podcast. It has varying views on the different clips, on the episodes, but everybody that consumes the content, if they take the time to reflect, have an opportunity to change. And then their change ripples into the people that are touched by them. them. And then those people are impacted by the people that touch them. And so I don't know that you can actually quantify the reach of the podcast right now. Some people may go to a YouTube episode and says, oh, it's got X views, yeah, right, but right. that's not the full reach. Right, right, right? right. And so as we're out and about in the world, like I've got an affirmation that says, um, Everybody that I come in contact with is better because of our encounter. Mm. And so if I dap you up and you're blue or you're like stuck or you're struggling yeah, sure. and it brings the energy or like, for instance, like I was, use you changing my world. Like I was tired and you helped me up off the floor one day mm. and like mentally that changed. And so now I look, I actively look for opportunities to do that for other people in the gym. Right. Mm. Yesterday you, you were getting ready to don't get want to. I wasn't getting ready to get up. You weren't ready to get up, but I was helping you move from that place of 
reflection stuck. and stuck to <laughs> you're in movement now, right? right. And then that, that carries hard. into another space. It, <laughs> it is hard. Yeah. It is hard. But the short answer to your question is as many as possible. Mm -hmm. If we're truly embrace this idea of being in service, right. mm -hmm. how how can you say you love other people and yeah. not serve right. in every opportunity yeah, that you have? And I, I just think people, and this is why the taker thing was hard for me. Um, I, I just think people are trying to figure out how they can enrich their experience, how they can be yeah. more comfortable. Right. And I don't believe that that is the charge of a man or a leader. Mm. Yeah, comfortable is the enemy to success, right? Or an, or an, that's right. an yeah, that's enemy. That's right. That's about right. But I think a lot of people feel like they get comfort from being successful. I mean, right. think I mean, about think about a flight, right? Mm -hmm. the, the more financially successful you are, the more likely you are to buy a first class ticket. Right. That seat is comfortable. Yes. It's more comfortable than the coach seat. Yes. Uh, the food does taste better and yes. it's higher quality ingredients. Yes. Uh, the time saved getting off is significant. The service. The service. All of those things are more comfortable, but you have to achieve a level of success in order to be able to enjoy those. So with your resilience training that we all go through, I, I don't actually know anybody that creates the challenge and then overcomes the challenge, but you do it on a daily basis. I don't overcome it. I don't overcome it. You, you get through it and you set the standard for everybody that I know that works out right. But with your resilience training, I think we're creating the discomfort so that we can continue to grow and strive versus just sitting there and, as I say, get soft, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Get uh, civilized. I, Push it, pushing the bar a little bit. Hey, moving the you got to do something to cultivate the savage in you. Yeah, the savage. Yeah. Go out and conquer. Yeah. Yeah. Kill yeah. something. Yeah, or take so some. What, at what take, point, or, though? Or, or like take some. About, or take some. That's right. Take some. Yeah, y'all gonna be taking some. Somebody might take it from you. So you can't take it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna take it. Yo, for why are you switching to taker? But like, I love I you because you. you're a giver. I love you because you're of service. Like, and, and, it's I, not, and guess I what? I can't love you as guess a what? taker no it, more. For you, it will yeah. not feel any different. He's gonna be more You know why? You know why? Yeah. And you're being more strategic too. You know why? Yeah. Because of your level of give. I, I get it. So you're you're not even going to experience Rod the Taker. I would like you for no, real. We're gonna hear, no, we're going to hear about it. You're going to you're going to talk. <clears throat> we talk about it on here. We talk about we how talk you about doing it. shit like that. You know what I mean? You're not even going to experience it. So I, that's I'm what I'm saying. Hear so you I, went to you you, you saw it. Taker, and then you just went to this whole list of characteristics oh, yeah, of nah, a taker and values of a taker. I got beliefs. I'm not like I got beliefs. I do think the program when I think Taker though I. Even though you said this isn't your definition, my definition of taker is net positive to me. Right. And I, in a lot of ways, want to be and neutral. That's, and that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But net positive to you in this moment is, is, is okay. Because, you know, if you look at the, if you look at the body of work, right? Mm -hmm. So net positive to me in over a two year period of time. Mm hmm and then over a 10 year period of time is net neutral, mm -hmm. then you okay with that? Does that feel better? That's what I was getting ready, what I was getting ready to say was for, as far as the, the law of like reciprocity and you know, sowing and reaping, what if that law is actually real and then tenfold is actually gonna come back to you for exactly. and being net, net negative now or net exactly. neutral? That's where I was gonna go. So I okay. think about it as an investment. Right. And you know, you talked about the strategy, um, but, so what happened outside of reading a book? What was it that in your reflection, you decided that you needed to make a change? I can I, I, can just, I answer I was, this? I was just going through. I was can going I answer through. for you? How? Is that possible? <laughs> How is that even possible? But I will entertain your answer. <laughs> Thank you. He just talking, y'all. <laughs> no, go ahead, you get a real answer. Go ahead. No, Nothing no. happened. There no, had to be no. something something triggered. No, some, uh, an adjustment. Uh, someone on. someone moment. someone asked me for they sent me a text. They said, yo, for a brand new young entrepreneur. What are two books that you would suggest they read? Okay. And so I said, only two? And so I sent them two. Then I sent them two more. 
Then I just started going through my library of audio nice. books. And give and take, I remember give and take, I was like, oh, this is dope. They probably need to, because that'll help with their uh, mindset, uh -huh. their, their shaping their mindset and making sure they establish intention, right? And so, yeah, so that's, that's why we're here. I right think now this is that. a perfect segue for you to give the viewers five. Give them five? Yeah, give them five books maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want to go into your five uh, or something, know, check them out. So, Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. uh, what about a black choice? Think and Grow Rich, a black choice. Black Dennis, Dennis Kimbrough. Kimbrough. Dennis Kimbrough. So right now, there's a lot of clips of yeah. Dennis Kimbrough speaking, uh, like I know. going I'll, around. I'll, yeah, a lot you of them. You see a yeah. lot of them circulating. Yeah. I guess we're on the same like algorithm or whatever, but okay. Dennis Kimbrough is the, the, the guy who wrote Think and Grow Rich, a black, a black choice, choice, which is a bridge version. I have, from a, I have an Napoleon. autograph. I have an autograph book by see, Dennis Kimbrough. See, you're, my, you're my hero, I autograph, man. I have an autograph book that Dennis Kimbrough signed. So I, real Met quick, him. before we move on, I yeah. think I might have covered this before for any new person watching your podcast. We've only had one other guest on besides you, and it was our friend Adrian Smith, who it's owns the most deal. McDonald's in yeah. the you know in, in, in right. the United States. And um, black man who owns most, most black McDonald's in the United States. Anyway, black owned, right. whatever. And um, I think he was actually part of Dennis Kimbrough's uh, study when he oh, uh, studied the the, the millionaires, um, black millionaires. Gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, know super that. Super dope though. Wow. So, uh, so yeah, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice, Dennis Kimbrough. Uh, forgive me if I don't know the authors. Um, so a book that changed my life yeah, yeah. was uh, Why Should White Guys Have All the Fun? Uh, That's yeah. by Reginald Lewis. Uh, first. The VSU uh, guy. Huh? Virginia State guy. Yep, yep. So that, that was just huge in my life. I mean, literally, <laughs> uh, um, a little unknown black history facts, the first book I literally read cover to cover. Because I couldn't put it down. Nice. Because I never knew a, a a black man that had his and and I and I got the spirit of his his drive, his purpose, um, his his thing that he was mad at to to you know propel him. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't put it down. So that's one. Um, e myth. E myth. Just, I got it. I got it. Yeah. E myth. Just so gives you. I got yeah. It. Um, um, oh six maybe. Huh? I'm just thinking about the years when I read the book. You got, you got, you got, you got like that. You got the, you got the, the file. You know the when, when you actually read the book. Um, so what did I say? Uh, I, don't, I just want to make sure I don't repeat. Ah oh, man, it's so freaking many. Um, one that's and we actually talked about this one. One that's not directly. I mean, it is. It's direct. Well, it. Directly and indirectly, uh, as it relates to entrepreneurship, and that is "Thou Shall Prosper." Yeah, "Thou Shall right. Prosper" is basically a, a, a Jewish rabbi. Mm -hmm. He gives you the game from a Jew, the Jewish perspective on how they do what they do, yep. why they do what they do, and just gives you the playbook. Yeah. Um, so that's one. That's four. Um, we should probably um, send them the link on our episode that we did on absolutely. Um, uh, what's the last one? Dang. We'll put that in the comments oh, uh, man, below. Man. Um, oh, man, I'm gonna get, well. This is this is one. It's not entrepreneur. Yeah, it don't have to be. Yeah, yeah, it's not entrepreneurial. But so me and my daughter, we're having a uh, a conversation about about the math that she has to do, right? All yeah. the different math. And so like, I'll never use this. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, you're right. You'll never use it. But what it's for is to help train you to think, um, um, you know, to have a method of solving problems. Absolutely. It helps train the way you think. Mm -hmm. So you're right. You're not going to use calculus. Not to probably. Mention, you know what? You use this to systems think. Systems. Exactly. Systems think. Exactly. Right. Pim does. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. If you did not do the parentheses first, you was not going to get the fucking answer right. Exactly. And when you teach her, when you tell the next time you talk to her about the order of operations. So you ain't really worried about calculus and trigonometry and all that stuff. 100%. But order of operations is going to make sure that we have the right outcome every single it's time. Gonna, it's going to help you. Talking about scaling, man. Pim dies at its finest, bro. It's gonna help you figure out how to do the skier and then go to burpees. <laughs> it's gonna dude, help you figure out how to dies. do it, how to do it for seven rounds when you're only on round one oh. and you feel like your lung is about to fall out of your body. It's gonna it's help you. Chill. It's gonna. That's the other thing too, dude. You know, you know, I, I use that ball when we doing ab rollouts, but there ain't no, no ball over at uh, Cone. I'm using that bar, man. The next day, dog, I was about dead. Everything, everything. I was like. 
what? What's this? So not Bro, to mention, man, you broke your ribs. So, not, but not to mention, though, you had remember forty five pounds on each yes. side, rolling them out, pulling it back. Yes. The wheel doesn't weigh anything, so right. you're used to doing them with no weight, and yes. that just gave you one hundred thirty five pounds to do the same Bruh, exact thing. I was like, what is you know this? what I mean? So that was torture. I just snuck that what in there. Like, so the last one is um, a book called Conversations with God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dope. Yeah, super dope. So yeah, but if so, if you are you know if you are holier than thou. If you are, you know, a member of some of these really, really strict religious organizations, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a struggle for you to get through conversations with God. Mm. So, I think they should read that it just week. because of that. I think people, yeah, that you just named should read it because of that. Hundred percent. We'll read it this weekend. Yeah, that that that's why again that, that was about mindset and just kind of rocking my world when it comes to the way I think. Mm. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's super um, dope. I know, I know. Jerome probably got a nice five. Oh, Jerome, Jerome got it. I don't want to turn it to a book joint, but I know you got a five. Nah, I, I, I give him nice three. Five. Let me give him three. A three. Give, give him a three. three. Yeah, Twenty five. Maybe we and can it don't have, Hold on, it don't have to be entrepreneur. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, anything that you believe is going to be some type of help or, um, you know, what I mean, yeah, development. So this one gets quoted all the time, but for me, it was transformational from the standpoint of just thinking about how you earn. And so rich dad, poor dad, Oh yeah. they introduce a couple of concepts in there. One is the, uh, the cash flow quadrant. Yep. And, you know, you got an employee, self-employed, business owner, and investor. And I just see this bastardized. And I know I'm just supposed to be giving a book, list of books, but it's no, a teacher money, moment yeah. for him. So you see all these people telling people who are employees that they need to become investors. And they don't have a cash flow machine. Mm -hmm. right. They don't have any equity. And so they're trying to save and scrape together their dollars and their nickels and invest thinking that's going to produce a meaningful return for them instead of reinvesting that money into them to get higher quality skills so they can earn more money faster mm -hmm. and then own a business of some shape or form that they can take those profits and then invest those. I, People who just are trying to skip steps instead of actually going through the process. And the email's a, a great way to help people navigate that, but mm -hmm. they're not going through the process of going from an employee to becoming a business owner so that the thing that the the book teaches us more than anything is you gotta decouple your time for money. If you gotta show up to earn, then you're never gonna be wealthy because you always have to shell your time in order to get money. Right. So in essence you own a job. You own a job. Yeah. And that is the plight of so many people. And, you know, we've been working on, man, we've been in the lab chipping on tablets, man, trying to build <laughs> out this these new frameworks for people to help them navigate entrepreneurship. But that, that rich dad, poor dad just foundationally changed the way I thought about money. It was like, I got to figure out how to decouple time for money. Mm -hmm. um, the second one I believe that tr you talked about integrity, but I think trust is the game. And so there's How'd the- you put a post up? Yeah. That was the first joint ever? I said, trust. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead <laughs> we want to save wavelength today. Yeah. Um, I, I read I read this book by a former CIA guy. He, he handled Russian spies. We talked about Russia already today. Mm -hmm. He handled Russian spies. And what the book does is it breaks down how you, what actions you have to take in order to establish trust fast. Okay. Um, the book's written by a guy named Robin Drake. I believe it's called The um, Science of Trust or something like that. But mm -hmm. it's written by a guy named Robin Drake. And it changed my life in 2020 because I was meeting so many people via Zoom. Like everything was shut yeah. down. And so I'm exposed to all these new people. And I'm like, well, who do I spend time with? Who do I invest in? Who's a giver versus who's a taker? Right, right, right. And what I realized was I was trusting people because I liked them. Yeah. And that's the biggest mistake you can make. Yeah. Okay. Trust is always based on predictability. Yeah. So if the person's placed in this situation, can you pr accurately predict what they're going to do? Yeah. And that lesson from that book changed everything for me because it was like, all right, I know them. I like them. But should I trust them? Can I predict what they're going to do? And that just absolutely helped me in so many different ways as I was finding other partners and were deciding who I was going to work with and, who I was going to strategically invest in. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's dope. Trust is like a, um, it's like a bank account. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you can make deposits and you make withdrawals. Well, I think you can make and withdrawals. The withdrawals are always bigger than the deposits. Always. 
the, the withdrawals are harder to recover from. Period, point blank. And it's almost like once trust is violated, it's 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 not impossible, but it's so hard to recover from that. Mm-hmm. So hard, right? Because almost every time you're coming around, it's like side out. You know, you're gonna side out that person, mm-hmm. that individual, or the action that they did, right? So yeah, that's that's tough. Trust is that's a tough one. And then the last one, we we got an author on the set. Huh. We got an Oscar. We got an author on this. Oh, author, you, you. author. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We got well, another one. We got another one. Authors. And uh, I, I was, I was talking about something. I sent him a clip, and he's like, "Yeah, this is in Prison of Prosperity." <laughs> right. This is in my book. <laughs> Adversity. I do that shit all the time. Man. Adversity <laughs> introduces a man. <laughs> introduces a man to yeah, himself. That's right. And so there's some gems in there, yeah. but I don't ever you. This is a part of, I guess, the service, but I think it's a disservice because you don't tell the people about the things, man. Talk about prison of prosperity <laughs> and some of the gems that people can farm out of that thing. Hey, man, I always talk about it. They just don't know where I'm pulling it from. I you understand. Know what I mean? I'm pulling it right from the book, man. I, I literally give you the so the you're, book. You're a freaking walking repository of all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, right. yeah. It's yeah. like it, I, I, if it, if it were possible, what would it look like if all of that stuff could be sucked out of you? What would you look like? What would you look like? What would you sound like? What would you? You know what I'm saying? Because it's Ethiopian. like, what conversation yeah. do you have? I look like an Ethiopian, like an Ethiopian. <laughs> <laughs> like Big what conversation head. can you have and not you know spit yeah, and not go, like that knowledge? So that, yeah. young boy hit me the other that yesterday and talked about something from. Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. Mm. And before I even replied to him, I just sent him a picture of my bookcase. Well, <laughs> right. uh, well that part where, yeah, where yeah. the book I is at, that. you know what I'm saying? And how I got like uh, the master key. So the master key by Napoleon Hill has got three books in one. It's yeah. three of them joints. One is joint like this thick and yeah. anything, right? So anyway, um, I'm just saying, uh, man, I don't know. And I think it's just a part of who I am just to be like, yo, um, I know what you talk about. And yo, if you take that a step further. 26. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a dog so eared and highlighted. I'm telling you, man. That from shit be, 1998. Bro, wait till I get about 80. This shit about to be crazy. <laughs> Niggas gonna be like, yo, can I sit with you for a bit of this shit? But yeah, nah, for real, for real. Um, Prison of Prosperity is written with the basically the curriculum of um, uh, uh, um, transcendence, like a personal um, Maslow's hierarchy, personal a- actualization. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So it starts with reflection and then you go through all the, you know, these steps and stages so that you can actually transcend and go beyond anywhere where you thought you could ever be. So that's the reason why I like teach well-being. You know what I'm saying? What and I just try to identify kind of like where we be at. What I think a lot of people will miss is that they're in prison. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like your body can be a prison. Your mental state can be a prison. Yeah, absolutely. Your finances can be a prison. Yeah. And so the book is applicable to, to everything and everybody. Yeah, because anything that restricts you from moving is what you call a shackle. And a shackle is what holds you in prison. Mm. So if you you you, rec- you commit recidivism Every time you break your diet and go back Whew. to the other side for like three weeks before you get started again. That, I just hit you with a show. He's recidivism. <laughs> Yo. like, and that's the thing. You're like, you never want to be a part of that, right? You, you're like, I'm dude, once to, you I'm get out of here, before, you like, never, never ever, ever want to yeah. walk back through these doors. But you just hit a, you just use the word that like it, that. That yeah. applies to so much. Right. Good right. Lord. So so the reason why I'm saying that is because recidivism. Um, Doritos could trigger your recidivism rate. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Or the you know, a, a going to the club with your friends and now you have to drink because the environment of being socially you know, uh, having fun, to have fun socially. That's why you was like, what do you do for fun? I'm like, nigga, I don't do much because a lot of that shit might be triggers. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to go into that. But I'm just saying like, you know, um, a lot of things that we experience on like a, a just a cyclic 
basic yeah. um, can literally take us back or get us stuck or, you know, we get unstuck, we thrive for a while, then we go back around and, it's, and that's the recidivism type of thing that I'm really talking about. And if those cycles aren't, you know, moving us forward and pushing us to get better, then we got to put some other things in our life. Like we've been talking about Masogi, you know what I mean? And these are, or fasting, you know what I mean? Them little things help us push past that, uh, create a base, challenge and grow, you know, celebrate and then create a new base. And right. that, you know, is this your cycle, you know, to, to push forward again instead of, all right, I got the same base. Like if my base was still 275 or 285, 295, then I would really wouldn't be healthy. But my base being now 200 or under 200, you know, pounds I'm talking about, like, cause I used to weigh 295 or whatever, then, right. you know, I, I literally would be like, yo, you're not getting better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even though, and I can't keep comparing my base to 295 now because I've been 215 for so long mm. or 210 for so long. You know what I'm saying? So my base is different. So who'd you have to become to do that? Sure, I don't even know this motherfucker, man. This nigga keep changing on me and shit. Keep switching. Cause like I had to be somebody else this week just to go on water. Moving target. Yeah. I moved, I moved it again. I moved it from fruit to water. Three days, four days. Oh yeah. I'm, oh, I'm in day, it. Four? Yeah, day four is done at five at 5 PM today. Day four is done. So, you know, and then I'm not hangry. My, you know what I mean? My, my joint. Go ahead. Uh oh, he laughing at angry. He get angry every day. That nigga angry every day at about 1030. <laughs> about 1030. <laughs> he need a break. He like, where's lunch at? Give me a Snickers. <laughs> no, but that's, that, no, that's me. That's regular me. That's regular yeah, me. Yeah, that's regular. With somebody Man, I don't agree with. I told y'all last episode that he be out of pocket. Yeah, I told you that. Like, <laughs> he told I told, that I told you. Episode. Matter of fact, two episodes ago, you asked me, like, why I do that shit, knowing that you ain't going to change the other person. I'd be like, I don't know. I, that's what I do. <laughs> or I'm conditioned to do it. Then I woo side and I get back to it. That's <laughs> what I do. So this ain't no not me. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm still being me. I just ain't got no fucking food in me. He said he ain't acting that way because he hungry. That's what Yeah, not, not at all. So, so, so. This is that's interesting. So to piggyback off of Jerome's question, is it a decision? Like, so the process for you to get to where you said I'm only going to drink water for days, days. <laughs> is that a decision or is that like let me sit down, let me hum la 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 hum, and then I got to do you know let oh. me run in place, let me like like is there uh, a process of that or oh, do you just go no, no. I'm on, I'm just going to drink water. I'm not going to eat food for days, bro. I'm, I'm literally telling you that um, I, so one, I go through uh, some type of transformation every year, right before my birthday. So yeah. my birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year. Tomorrow's my birthday. Right. right? And um, literally I just dated the podcast, my bad. But um, <laughs> so during this time, a lot of people don't even notice, but I always come out with some, there's always some type of marketing around like a challenge or weight loss challenge around this time. And it's literally because I just either went through a challenge or I'm on one now, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I go through this ritual as a renewing process for me um, as I end the cycle and begin start another cycle, which is, you know, the year of me, you know, living, you know, on this earth or whatever, right? right? In this physical realm. So I want to leave everything that was not of me or that I don't want to take with me into the next. So I go through this spiritual, emotional, physical, like transformation or cleansing. And that's why I'm like, yo, that's why we were talking real heavy about Masogi for the last, I don't know how many weeks is because I've been transforming. Like I've been changing and I've been going through those, this ritual or whatever. Um, before legacy was born, I went through a whole transformation. Like I didn't break my fast until we were in the hospital and that, you know, we spent the night that night at the hospital. I got the chicken cheese steak, the pizza and all that stuff <laughs> brought up to the hospital. You caught up? No bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no bullshit. Oh, I, but I, I, so I, I literally was conscious about, I want my daughter to see me in like this, this physical specimen form, like the highest. Mm. So when she touches me and the, mm. like that, this is transmutated, this, these genes, this energy, this, this thought process or whatever is now going to literally be this, the first touch or first couple touches that like we literally, person. I'm, I'm telling you, like, I, like, I, I, I don't talk about it much, but I, with this one, I knew I had to do a challenge, but 
it, 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 it came so fast, like, this is what I'm going to do. I saw a post. It said if you did seven days of a water fast, like, you could literally mm -hmm. decrease your chances of getting cancer yeah. by, like, 70% in your entire lifetime. I was like, damn, that would be dope. So I think that was the seed. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't make the decision, like, that day. But when I look at the time frame, it was like, yo, I got to do a transformation. I don't have that much time. And my transformations that went from 12 weeks to six weeks to 30 days to one week. Y'all see me lose 20 pounds in a week before. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, well, what's going to be hard? This guy can lose 20 pounds in a week. What makes it hard? It's only two rules to the Misogi, right? It's make it hard and don't die. Mm. That shit tough, but. That's make it hard and don't die. Make it hard and don't die. It's only two rules to the Misogi. So look, um, I, I literally said, I've been doing these six week challenges. So I've been on the six week challenges, six week after six week after six week. Now it's like another six week challenge right now. It's not going to be nothing. This is like my way of life right now. Mm -hmm. I'm doing everything with y'all, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. So it's like, yo, I got to make it hard. You just don't die. And I was just like, yo, fuck it. Got to be the water joint. So this is your first water fast? This is my first. So I did only, I only have done a 24 hour water fast. I've done you, that. You did one. Yeah. And I did it after you did it. I did it after you did it and it was easy. So this one, I was only going to do three days because, you know, um, my, 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 my base, my, my base is in this nutrition, health and wellness and stuff like that. And I'm literally supposed to eat other food, certain foods as I break this fast. So I'm only supposed ease to have certain in. things. I got to ease back into it. Maybe some fermented stuff, um, some broth and things like that, fruits, stuff like that. You know, like it's not supposed to be a lot. So I'm on day four, but I'm not supposed to be because I got Thanksgiving coming up and it's my birthday. And I don't want my wife to be like, you're not eating. We got your birthday and all this other type of stuff. So I'm literally going now to the fourth day because three was too easy. I'm like. Mm. So what if four is too easy? I'm going to make, so four right now is easy. Like four is not, like I'm not like, man, I'm hungry as hell. Like I ain't, four right now, I'm straight. Did you so, get the headaches so, on day two though? None of that. I ain't getting none of that. But you got to understand, wow. I primed the environment because we've been on the, the other joint. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't getting my secrets. We've been on the other joint. So the environment was primed. And if you do this right, you're actually supposed to kind of, do something a few hours, you know, a few days or hours leading up to it so you ain't going cold turkey from pizza to water. Like, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to do the morning tomorrow. I'm going to get into day five because I'm going to do the workout, all that different type of stuff. And I'm going to hold off as probably as long as I can before my wife says, I got a birthday breakfast for you or something like that. You know what I mean? Or or we got to go she eat the Thanksgiving birthday. dinner. <laughs> I got a birthday breakfast for you. She got them wings while you she on the water fast. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they, they that ready. That was hilarious. That's terrible. She came up man. in the crib like. <laughs> no, she made them. So that's the reason That's the reason why I was so bad the first day. The first day. So she did the first day with me. All right. Okay. But. The end of the first day, so from five to five, she was able to break at five, but we had to go to a couple events. So I'm like, yo, all right, you could break right now. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm a cool with these events. Why, but you, she let her, had, why you let her off the hook? Well, she did the Anybody first. Anybody else, it would have been like, she I, said I to me, like, so, she said every oh. time his birthday come around, he started acting I like Jesus. <laughs> no, she said Gandhi, she said Gandhi, she said Gandhi. But this would be more like Jesus with the, with the 40 with the days and 40 nights, wow. you know what I mean? No, none of this, none of that. But yeah, um, so I, I, um, so MJ I picked the water. Um, I picked the water because I thought it was going to be most challenging. Um, and plus, I was just literally all on the principles of Masogi and how the water was part of the purifying process. Mm -hmm. So I flipped it and made it made it work for what I had going on. And now, instead of water beating down on me and stuff like that, the water is actually sustaining me. You got to like, run you know in the rain, man. You got to get out there in the rain. I went, I went out there last night. And you know what I thought about you last night? I'm going to tell you why I thought about you. Pause. There's no homo. All right, fuck that. You want to bet. Like, nah, I, no, no, no. I was taking the groceries out of the... So we were in the 
the, we went to Sam's. I took my nephew to Sam's. His car's down and everything. So I took him grocery shopping for the holidays because they cooking um, and everything. So we were in the rain coming back, and I was like, this would be a perfect time for me to go for the walk, you know, in the rain right now and everything. I didn't do it, but while I was doing that, I was like, you know, what you said, it kind of stuck to me. And I just really was going to go out there and get wet. And um, I just didn't feel like bothering my wife um, with the stuff because my wife be like, you're acting weird. You know what I mean? All this other shit, you know what I mean? And I got that in prison. Um, I got that in prison. Got what? I used to do. So, and I want to answer your question too, because I think yeah. I, I, I danced around it um, a little bit. Well, I just got off track, but um, I got the weird shit. You know, like people looking at me like I'm weird or like, why is he doing that? You know, that type of stuff. And it's just, um, I would be out. So I would get information. So the information basically was from the Instagram post that I received. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I, I literally got to put the information to a test. So I'm just trying to, you know, prove the theory or yeah, see if it yeah. works or mm -hmm. stuff like that. Instead of, because I hate hoarders, like mm -hmm. information hoarders, people just gathering all this stuff. Yo, I know this, I know that. And then people not kind of putting it into right. play. So the application of that information is literally going to give you the, the, the separation or whatever so that you can elevate, whatever, right. or vice versa. But um, I used to be on the yard, like, walking with my shoes off, trying to feel the dew on, from the grass petals on the bottom of my Grounding. feet. Because Grounding. Just, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like little things like that. And then you have another guy looking from the side and saying, yo, this nigga weird as hell. Sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Then the same niggas will, you know, text me now or DM me and be like, yo, I knew you was going to make it. Like, you know what I mean? It's a different level of understanding though. That's Is it weird. really weird if you, should you be doing what everybody else is doing if you want an extraordinary life? Not, not, not at all. Not at all. Uh, it's it's That's weird because of it's weird because of was it yesterday? The message that you gave yesterday is weird because nothing changes if you don't believe anything is wrong. Ouch. That's tough. You may say that again. Yeah, nothing changes if you don't believe anything is wrong. Yeah. So therefore, I'm not going to change to doing what you do, even if I see it and if I see it working for you, because I don't think anything is wrong with me. So therefore, it's weird and you're weird and your world is weird. True, especially if you can't see like the fruit. Especially if you can't see the fruit. Yeah, yeah. You can't like, see no results. What that for? Tangible. Like the outside. We're talking about people from I, the outside. I, this is cutting. Because... You know, I think a lot of us want to be self-assured. We want to know that things are good. We want to be confident in our approach to life. And then we see somebody doing something different than what we're norm what we would normally see. And we're like, there's something wrong with that. But how do you know? You got to study. So you, what you have to do, and, uh, what I can, and again, what we do is we talk about experiences. So I, I can talk about for me and my experience, because I was, I gotta, I gotta have the assurance, right? Until one day I just stepped off the cliff because everybody else was stepping off the cliff and everybody else was thriving because they stepped off the cliff and I stepped off the cliff without the reassurance and like, oh wow. And then, so then at that point it was like, oh, what does success look like? And then what do I need to do? Cause I'm not gonna jump to the tip of the iceberg. I'm not going to skip all those steps. So there has to be some stuff in between where I am now, where I want to be. And I'm not, I got to the point where I don't like, I don't even question certain things. Mm. I'm not going to, L says do this. I'm not going to question that. But did you, if, if that you tell me to do something in real estate, I'm not going to question that. But okay. Well, let, let's rock. How did, but it didn't start <clears> that way. Well, no, that's started, what I'm saying. It, it didn't with, start it started that with way. trust. It started with it, trust. But no, I'm saying like, yeah, but even before, yeah, there, there's definitely the trust element, but it had to be me going, dude, just just take off. Just go step off, yeah, the, yeah, cliff. Step off the cliff. And then once I stepped off the cliff and I didn't hit the bottom, then I did it again. And then I did it again. And then it's like, oh, okay. So then, and again, you know, my thing is. Bike. That was huh? the 10 on the bike. That was, exactly. You bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Right. Day one. You're like, who the fuck? Day one. So was, I messed up the title of the book. The title of the book is Sizing People Up. So this okay. is, okay. this goes right into nice. what you guys are talking about, right? Yeah. With the trust part. It's like, you, somebody comes into your world, you notice that they're different, but you don't really know why they're different yeah. or what they're doing. Yeah. And then 
you look. I mean, if you take the time, you actually assess right. what's going on in the Let, world. Let's use a wall as an example. Yeah, for me, shit. Right? They always throw me under. Let's the use a wall as an example. <laughs> so, the barber shop that I go to is like. Do they check your credit score on the information? Way into the barbershop? Nah, they don't, they don't check the credit score. It's <laughs> it's, imp- it's an information hub. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So two years before I went to AWOL, the they, message they was, was yeah, you go over there, you're going to get right. But the owner, he crazy. <laughs> he going to cuss you out probably. And he crazy. And there ain't no heat. And you're, gonna, you're going to get in oh, shape, yeah. but he crazy. And a lot of people go over there, but he crazy. <laughs> Guess what He's I heard? Help me, he man. crazy? For two years. He crazy. He crazy. That's what I heard. Never, I, I, I don't know where East Washington is. I don't care to know because all I heard was There's he crazy. crazy guy. It's a crazy dude. There's an that ogre you up might there by the out. railroad track. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, the GPS don't even take you there. It don't even right. It'll take you to the apartment. Yeah. It'll take you to the joint out, behind there. Crazy. And you got to figure it out. Right. The GPS is like, he crazy. <laughs> right. And then I got a gift, uh-huh. right. To uh, do a 90 day challenge, challenge, I believe. Yeah, at the time. 90 yeah. day challenge. Uh-huh. And then I went because it was a gift. Yeah. Well, I ain't got nothing to lose now, right? Givers and takers. Givers and takers. You I took gave, it. I took the you, gift. You took it. I went. <laughs> oh, you better take her. And I'm everything. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> I went and, and then everything changed. So I was like, whoa. So that's one of those. Did you think he was crazy when you got there? Yes. Hundred percent. Everything lined up with all the information I got for the two reviews years were accurate. before I went. Yeah, <laughs> and you got lined right. up. Huh? I, if you listen to the crazy guy, you get right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent right. Hundred percent. But you got you got to you got to get past that. So, you know, back to like, well, how do you do that? So for me, it was I heard I for two I missed out for two years because I, I didn't want to jump off the cliff. I didn't want to step off the cliff. And then I got a nudge. It still wasn't even, it wasn't even a commitment in my brain. Yeah, okay. I need to be able to tell the person that gave me this gift that, yeah, I went. You went, yeah. <laughs> because I can't, you know, you gave me a gift. I got to. You didn't act offended because they gave you a gift to it? No, 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 no. No, because they were reaping the benefits, benefits of, of the, yeah. the Church of AWOL. Service, man. <laughs> they were reaping they the were benefits. They were service weekly. So they were, it was a, it was a, what do you call it? A, um, it was a word of mouth. It was a testimonial. Yeah, they were giving a testimony. They were doing good. Basically, and said, oh, listen, you, you, hey, you need to check this out. And so I only went to say, yeah, I did. I didn't waste your, your gift. But then after that, I was hooked. But, but So not, that was the process to get to that, to get to that point for me. So, but did they talk about the other stuff or did they just talk about the body? The oh no! The they body. didn't talk about the secret sauce. They didn't talk. They didn't talk. No, nah, they didn't talk much about the secret sauce. Because again, the thing that resonated with me was he's crazy. Pastor crazy. No, nah, I think he's saying that, like basically um, with other people some, in the community. No, 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 no. Like sometimes we're in a particular space, and somebody might come up and say, "You know what? I think you should, you know, try this. This will help." Right. And. I don't know if that was your your thing, but there's people that actually come there and people, they they give them this gym thing, but they they know where they're at in their life and they're like, you know what, this will help you, you know what I mean? And they might not talk about the secret sauce, but the stuff that he about to tell you, you know, on your journey or whatever, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't even want to try to talk about the secret sauce because you might mess it up in the community. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, they so go that's like, when it's like, yo, that. dude, come, just, just go. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Just trust me, just believe me, just go. And then he was going live, like when I do the speeches, and yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. Mac. That's how Mac saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Um, man, y'all, y'all got anything else, man? Man, yeah, I just want to uh, recap real quick, man, because we talked about some heavy stuff, and I really hope people watch long enough to actually, um, you know, jot down some of those books. Minutes, um, go grab some of them. They, Fifteen minutes. 14, See, 14 you will come minutes. on the joint, thanking them and shit, talking about all this I other think stuff. On the front end, and you man. know, yeah. What I'm saying is, <laughs> you it's called the law on, of attraction. But you come on with this lovey It's Called the law of attraction. Shit, knowing these motherfuckers ain't watching. It's called past the law of attraction. The first, uh, you right. You chase them. I, get I attract. It. I got not me. I, 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 I be like this. Honey and vinegar. Attract them. You, you chase them. exactly. And guess how I'm attracting them. Uh, 
from these core values, from the inner vibe. So Be you attract remember. your tribe based off your vibe. And as right. long as I got people that's looking for, you know what, I want somebody that's gonna give me some information from an integral standpoint. Right. I want I want somebody who's done this before. Right. I want somebody who doesn't mind, you know, you know, giving me this stuff right here um, in this podcast. And, Cause the books that y'all just gave them is literally, can literally change their life like they changed yours. If they take the information and put it into a little bit of application do some reflection on it, gain the wisdom from it, and then next thing you know, they'll see some elevation. Right. That elevation will then separate them or separation from their current state and current peers. And next thing you know, they'll be thriving and not just surviving. So if y'all are out there paying attention, I want y'all to run this back to the books that both of these uh, uh, multiple comma figure holding <laughs> dudes have just spilled off. And if you ain't got multiple commas, <laughs> y'all hear me? In your uh, bank account, then you need to be listening to the advice that they just spilled out. Now, maybe on the next book, I can't go too far, but I would like to give a couple books and stuff like that too. Sure. Um, because no matter how much they get, they never going to exceed their uh, personal development. So once they get it, they might not be able to keep it, grow it, sustain it, nurture it, and give it away after that. Well, mm -hmm. some of them takers, but we'll call it that later. We talked about giving and taking. We talked about books. <laughs> yo, we talked about the Masogi and doing the next level of what it takes, man. But yo, I think we should wrap this one up, man, and just call it a Day and bring my brother back for another part three. Let's go. You feel like coming back next week? On? Man, I love to be. Let's Yo, go. Man, it's Let's one of my favorite it, things man. to do. Yo, I'm Coach Lynch, Lynch Hunt. I'm Brian Brown. Hey, who, who, I'm Jerome Myers. That's man. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, we we gonna bring here. him back to, to get him into you know everything about what he do and all that different type of stuff because you always come with the I gotta deep dive into that one real quick and find out. Let me think about that a little bit more. Then you come talk up with some philosophical about, type shit. Time, let's so. talk about luxury next time. Let's talk ooh, about ooh, it. Ooh, ooh, let's talk let's about talk, signaling. Let's talk, let's about, talk about luxury let's thoughts. Talk about luxury. Let's talk about signaling. Ooh, love it, y'all. Exactly. Yo, we'll holla at y'all on the next one, man. It's the In Game Podcast, and y'all just got what we do to the best of our ability, y'all. Peace. Peace.